So I started off this project by marking off the height of the shelves. Because pencils don't really work on glossy tiles, I used painter's tape to help me mark the heights. I put a vertical piece of painter's tape up through the middle of the wall and made a couple of marks where I want the height of the shelves to be. I then adjusted my laser level to the first mark. Again, using painter's tape, I marked along the line which the laser level projected on the wall. As I wasn't totally happy of the height that I marked the top shelf, I made a second mark slightly lower and then adjusted my laser level and then taped to the laser level line. Using my deep scan stud finder, I scan the wall to see if there are any studs roughly in the area to where I want the shelf brackets to be. Unfortunately, I found a stud exactly where I want to put the brackets on the left hand side. But that's not always the case. More often than not, you won't find a stud exactly where you want to put the shelf bracket. And I'll show you how to overcome that in just a second. I marked the position of the stud vertically using my laser level and some painter's tape. I then measured from the trim to that mark and then transferred that mark to the right hand side of the wall. That way when you step back and look at your shelf brackets, they'll be equal distances in from either end. I then adjusted my laser level to that mark and then transferred that line vertically up the wall. And then once I was happy with my marks, I then using the bracket itself, marked the holes to attach the brackets to the wall. If done correctly, all your shelf brackets should be all at the same height, nice and level and equal distances from either end. To attach the brackets to the wall where there isn't a stud to fix to behind, I'm using these triple grip heavy duty wall anchors which I picked up from my local Home Depot. They're specifically designed to work with concrete and tiled walls. And it even comes with its own quarter inch drill bit, though I wouldn't technically use it on tiles. To drill all my holes, I'm using a quarter inch carbide tip drill bit specifically designed for tile and glass. There's a couple of tricks that I find when drilling with tile is one, not to apply too much pressure so you can potentially crack the tile, which I have done in the past. And two, is to not let the drill bit get too hot. When it gets too hot, it loses a sharpness and you'll really notice a difference when drilling through the tile. So the way I prevent the drill bit from getting too hot is every five to 10 seconds, I'll dip it in water. Once I've dipped it in water for a couple of seconds and then I'll go back to drill it and then repeat. This may seem time consuming and excessive, but it does save you a lot of money in drill bits. And you'll find that some tiles are harder and some tiles are softer. These ones in particular were very hard and it took a little bit longer than usual. I've also found that spraying the drill bit while it's drilling in the wall may seem a little bit quicker, but it does make a lot more mess, especially with white grout. Once all the holes were drilled, I then tapped in all the wall anchors in the holes that didn't have a stud behind them. You also wanna make sure not to tap them too hard and risk breaking the tile, because I have also done that. Also, for an extra little bit of support, I put a bead of clear silicone behind the plate of the bracket and then fix them to the wall using the screws provided. Making sure not to over tighten the screws which could either damage the plug or crack a tile. Once all the brackets were secured to the wall, I cleaned up any of the silicone and removed all the dust from the drilling. As for the shelves themselves, I'm using offcuts of my white oak countertop, cut down to the sizes that I need. I'll link below some alternative shelf materials that you can buy from any big box store, and the brackets and any other hardware that I may have used in this video. <laughs> 